The SunSync operating system is one of the best in its class. It gives real-time information, as well as the daily cumulative readings for power consumption and generation. The screen is an interactive touchscreen, and users can adjust it by their fingertips. Special attention should be paid to the bar chart and the cog icons. By clicking the various icons on the home page, the user can access lots more information, like this simple spreadsheet providing real-time data. If you click on the bar chart icon, you can access this system flowchart, showing exactly what the inverter is doing at any particular time and how the power is flowing through the device. If you click the cog icon in the top right-hand corner, you can now access the settings navigation page, which will take you to the various programming pages. Let's start with the basic setup features, which include setting date and time, as well as the installer's name or telephone number. From the basic setup page, you could also have a choice of pre-installed languages. These are Spanish, French, Portuguese, and English. The battery setup allows the user to choose between AGM batteries, lithium batteries, or no battery. On the battery charge page, in besides solar charging, the user can select to charge the battery packs from either the grid or by a generator. If a signal is required to trigger a generator to start, this function can be selected from this page. In addition, we have the option of using the relay as an automatic response when the inverter is in island mode. Also, the battery setup page lets you select the shutdown voltages when the inverter's power is off or if the battery is low. If you are using lithium batteries and connect a communication cable between the lithium battery's BMS and inverter, you need to ensure the circuit is communicating. By clicking the icon on the bottom right-hand side of the Settings page, the user can confirm the status of this function. Grid setup is fairly simple and provides the parameters of the grid voltage, frequency upper and lower settings. In most cases, the default setting will be fine unless you have a particular problem with your mains power. System mode is the heart of the inverter and enables the user to set timings for the inverter to do various tasks. From here, you can also select your solar to export power to the load or to the battery. In addition, you can control the maximum power of the inverter and the import power from the grid to prevent zero export. Advanced settings allow you to parallel inverters into a multi-inverter system operating in either single-phase or three-phase rotation. If you are using a wind turbine, you can set up the profile of the wind turbine from this page. Auxiliary load can be used for many things like using a generator on a single inverter, system peak power sharing, or if using micro-inverters off-grid. This page lets the user set the environment. As well as the setup pages, the SunSync operating system provides lots of information which is generally common to most inverters in this class, such as historic solar and grid power. We also provide a comprehensive list of fault codes. This should be treated as a diagnostic tool to check that your whole system is operating safely and correctly. For example, there are no earth faults on your solar panels and the system has no over or under voltages or overcurrents and your comms are working correctly. There are many other pages on the SunSync operating system and this is just a simple glimpse of what it can do. We believe we have the best operating system out of any hybrid inverter the easiest to use and program. Each page also has a simple help menu to assist the user. No power, no problem with SunSync.